Karen this, Karen that. You've heard the term being used as of late to describe someone who uses privilege to get their way at the expense of others. When fear goes up, implicit bias goes up, and when that taps into privilege, you know, people are going to do this stuff. Recently, a San Francisco woman threatened to call police on a neighbor for stenciling Black Lives Matter on the retaining wall in front of his home. This is not the way to do it. Okay. More of these Karen incidents are being documented on smartphones and then quickly shared through social media. People are very quick to think that they're right and they're always right and other people are wrong. You might recall Barbecue Becky. This incident involved a white woman who called the cops on a group of black people barbecuing at Lake Merritt in Oakland. Uh, it's illegal to have a charcoal grill in the park here. Then there was Permit Patty. In that case, a white woman threatened to call police on a young black girl who was selling bottled water on a San Francisco sidewalk. One really needs to take a breath and think twice before responding to anything that you might see. While it may be easy for some to make light of these situations, experts say there's no way to not contextualize this throughout the course of history. We've seen these kinds of incidents before and we know already the um, wide ranging impacts that these kinds of innocuous events um, can have on the lives of black people. Last month, an Alameda resident called 911 to report a black man who was simply dancing in the street as part of an exercise routine. Gentlemen, what are you doing? He ended up being handcuffed by police. There is a um, ability to use that, to use white tears and white fear as a weapon itself against black people. I mean, that's what we're seeing primarily happen to my mind. And while there's no magical way to deal with all of this, some say a part of the solution isn't as complicated as one may think. And we always got to remember that everybody is important. Everybody is sacred. Everybody is uh, 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 should be treated respectfully and reverently and so forth.